guys, this is Miriam at High Life Auto. I am out doing a video test drive on the 2005 Chevy Trailblazer. If you've never been on my videos before, the way it works is I, I drive the vehicle on video and I tell you what I see, hear, think, smell, and feel, give you the best indication to be in the driver's seat without actually being in the driver's seat. I'm not a mechanic and this is not meant to be a 182 point inspection. Rather, this is meant to be a sneak peek into how the vehicle dies and any potential issues I notice as we're going along. So we'll take a look around the vehicle, we'll take a look under the hood, and then we'll go for a drive. Um, and I've just taken this one down to Casey's to get some gas. Um, and so far, I am impressed. When you see the outside of it, you won't be impressed. But so far driving it, I'm pretty impressed. So here we go. Let's get out, pop the hood, and we'll do this thing. All right, so here's the bad part. It's not a pretty car. Um, it looks like it's been flat blacked. Um, you know, it's all there. Um, I think you're, you're, you know, you've got a little bit of rust uh, on the wheel wells right here, um, and you can see it's a dull black. Good news about the dull black, which means that you can get a rattle can and paint it dull black again and um, just get it uh, good as new. Um, and actually, you can actually paint it dull black and then get a can of glass, of, gla of gloss, and paint over it and make it shiny black. Just little t t tips of the trade make it cool looking. Um, or you could just, you know, paint flowers on it or whatever you want because it already doesn't look pretty. So why not just have a little bit of fun with it? Um, but outside of that, um, you know, take off these rusty running boards or whatever and it won't look as bad. Um, these front tires are probably about 35%. The rear tires are about 35%. Let me unlock the doors. Do, unlock button, where are you? Here's the front, it is the tan leather. It's it's not in bad condition, at least this way. It looks like you're missing this trim piece right here. You're missing it on the other side, uh, unless it's sitting here. Nope, I don't see it. Um, so you're just missing a little trim piece there. Uh, this door, let's see. Unlock there, let's see if it's... Okay, so this... Um, door unlock the automatic part doesn't work door unlocks though manually and it does open you've got the seats here and then it does have third row in the back i don't think the third row is meant for you know any normal person who has any any kind of legs at all but small kids will fit back there uh back here you've got the tow hitch doesn't look that bad from the back you've got some duct tape right here and i think that these these are known to rust right here maybe no, I think it's just um, this little bezel, this little trim piece right here is coming loose. Uh, so they just have it taped on there. Um, we're going to have the same thing with the back. Either it's not unlocking or it's not opening. I feel resistance here, like it should be opening, um, but it's not. So there's that. Let's see. I can't do this two -hand, one handed, so let me try this. That doesn't open either. So, um, so right now the back doesn't open. Um, you know, I don't know if that's a, a lock thing or um, if there's some damage to there, which is why the tape is on there. Um, I'm not 100% certain. So, for now, you don't have much of a back, which really is not the end of the world because there's not, I don't know if you can see in there or not if I put this up here, um, there's not a whole lot of space back there. Um, there's some, you know, for groceries or stuff, um, but I mean, I'm sure it can be fixed. Everything can be fixed. It's just a matter of if you want to tinker with it um, and if you kind of want to figure it out. Um, right now we're kind of doing a thing with we're selling cheap cars like cheap cheap because people are wanting cheap cars sometimes the cheap cars are going to need some little things like latches and locks and windows and uh, paint and stuff like that um, you can see a little bit of rust over here again put some flat black on there and fix that up right away and from the front Again, outside of your outside of your discoloration, it doesn't look that bad. Um, so under the hood, I was impressed. You know, because at the gas station, I always check all my fluids and all of that. Um, it is detailed under here. It's clean. Everything sounds like it's just ticking right along the way it's supposed to. Um, I mean, some of these parts even look new. There's, you can see the part number on this still. Um, and I don't know that you'd be able to see the part number if that was an original 05. Maybe you would. Um, or maybe it's been replaced since then. Like that radiator hose has been, um, looks like it's been replaced. 
um, like some, or maybe it's just been detailed. I don't know. Um, but it looks nice under here, which is the whole gist of what I was saying. So that was the, that was my first thing I was impressed with. Um, okay, so now we'll get in. And we've got 150,000 miles on there. This one drove in from Minneapolis. Um, there is uh, no check engine lights on, no anything lights on the dash, which is awesome. Um, this is the, <coughs> it's the four wheel drive version, but it also is the all wheel drive. Um, so you can kind of put it in whatever you want. I've got the AC on. I don't think the air conditioning works. Um, that's to say, I think it needs Freon. Um, it's kind of blowing out cool, much cooler than it is outside because it's 71 degrees outside. Um, and this is definitely not 71 degree air, but it's not ice cold air either. So, um, so I think it needs Freon before summer really hits. I'm going to turn the heat on just to just, you know, just see if it works. I'm going to turn our radio on. Radio works. Um, windows, driver's side window works. Passenger side window works. A little bit squeaky, but it works. Rear passenger side window works. Rear driver's side window works. Holy cow, that heat works. Okay, turn that back down. I know the AC doesn't work, but um, we're gonna do it anyways. And then we've got a DVD player. All right, I'm gonna pause this for just a minute because Matt's calling me. All right, so yesterday I had to cut off my video on this 05 Trailblazer because my husband called. And you know, when the husband calls, you gotta answer the phone. And I had to go do all this other stuff. Anyway, so today I'm back out on the 05 Trailblazer. We've already done the walk around and now we are going to go do the drive around. So. We're going to go do that. I am pulling out now, and here we go. And I'm just as impressed with it today as I was yesterday. Like, it's just started right up just fine. Um, it sounds good. Like, it's quiet. Um, the motor is quiet. The suspension is quiet. I don't hear any suspension noise. It's driving very well. It has good power. very well like I said no suspension noise I'm gonna once I get turned here uh, I'm gonna check our turn signals and stuff all right left turn signal works right turn signal works I'm gonna put my cruise on you can see over there on the left there's my cruise indicator and I am cruising right around 60 so that works the way it should wipers work wiper fluid works and I may have tried all that yesterday um, I don't 100% know so if you've already seen it then just go ahead and you know fast forward past, past this part of the video um, but it's driving very well brakes are good and solid no grinding or vibration uh, I am in two-wheel drive right now but I'm going to um, you do have the all-wheel drive option for when um, like you don't you don't know what the weather it's kind of you know slushy or icy and you just kind of are unsure um, you stick it in all-wheel drive and it will um, it'll kick into four if it determines that it needs it right now I'm in four high I'm gonna crank my wheels and and I do have four-wheel drive so uh, four-wheel drive works but then you can put it in two for just regular driving and um, fuel efficiency I don't remember if I checked the radio yesterday so we're gonna check the radio um, I do remember checking the windows so those are done um, but radio works um, I've got the air conditioning on now and I think it's blowing cold. It's not ice cold, um, but it's cold. So I would say, you know, when you get up to the 110 degree days, 
um, this isn't gonna cut it but I think this will cut it for you know your 90 95 degree days um, that kind of thing and uh, we'll turn up the heat which you shouldn't need um, but we'll turn it on anyways and just test it since we're doing that okay so then we've got um, all of that I need to test the horn once I'm past out past here okay and there's the horn works um, so and the heat works it is blowing good and hot so um, if there's anything else that I've mentioned anything else that I have not mentioned oh I noticed I've got heated seats here um, and it looks like at least on the driver's side they light up so I'm gonna imagine that they work just you know typically when things light up they work um, and then I know they have it on the passenger side as well but um, I cannot be in that seat right now so I can't test that um, but if there's anything I've missed um, just hit me up I'll try and find out answers for you especially with my uh, my split video I may have um, forgotten things that I normally do my cell phone is 309-267-7200 and I can answer um, whatever questions that you guys have thanks guys